The St. Louis Auto Show opened today at America Center, and as with everything, we know this by now, Chris, COVID precautions were in place. Yeah, we expected that. Well, Steve Harris shows us some of the cars and the new safety measures you encounter when you go. You know, every January, I look forward to covering the St. Louis Auto Show. Made a lot of good memories. <laughs> oh, no! no! <laughs> but this year, January came and went. Well, it's April, and here I am. See, they just postponed it. We moved it because of the spike in numbers in the late 2020. Uh, we didn't think logistically there was any way we could pull it off and do it effectively. The folks with the uh, car show uh, were determined to put the show together. We worked with St. Louis City and public health officials to be able to put the protocols in place for them to be able to authorize and approve the show to take place. That includes a temperature scanner at the door, mandatory masks, and limited capacity. So you have to buy tickets in advance. Oh, and the cars are constantly cleaned. And while you'll see plenty of signs and hand sanitizer, the stars are still the cars. And of course, there's this little place called Million Dollar Mile, where you'll see the cars most of us only dream of owning. Huge draw. Uh, you've got some exotics and some premium automobiles there. And organizers say this is something both they and fans really needed. This is so important uh, to the hospitality, travel, and tourism industry because it brings thousands of people downtown. It employs hundreds of workers. I think this is a really good step in the right direction that we can put a consumer show on. We can't have people attend that show and uh, get some uh, action back in the, in the city of St. Louis and get some, uh, some people kind of getting back to a normal routine of their lives. Steve Harris, News 4. And if you're interested, the show runs through Sunday. Tickets are, tickets are limited each day and can be purchased on their website. Those details are also at KMOV.com.